Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us analyze how to write Lewis structure of H2SO4 by using a beautiful mnemonic. A skeletal in the biology lab center count single, double, triple octet duplet except expanded deficient odd guys in the classroom. These mnemonics help you to remember that all the steps involved in writing Lewis structure. Look at the first step, skeletal structure. When you write a skeletal structure, the second step you can see that center should be less electronegative atom. If you see H2SO4, hydrogen is less electronegative, but hydrogen as a center we are not writing because it can satisfy only duplet configuration. So among sulfur and oxygen, sulfur is less electronegative. So let us write sulfur in the center. Then oxygen we are going to write just around sulfur. Here you may think why you are writing hydrogen next to sulfur? Because H2SO4 is an acid. So the hydrogen should attach to the highly electronegative atom. That means oxygen. So hydrogen we can write it here or here. You can write it here or the down oxygen atom also. Now come to the third step. Count valence electrons. So we go to count total valence electrons. How many hydrogen atoms are here you see? Two hydrogen atoms. So valence electron 1. Sulfur valence electron 6. 4 oxygen atoms. So 4 into valence electron of oxygen also 6. So if you add all together we will get 32 valence electrons. So total 32 valence electrons are present in this compound. Now come to the next step, fourth step single bond between all the atoms so we go to draw single bond single bond means two electrons involved so single bond between all the atoms now the next one is double or triple bond Dub double or triple bond around the center atom why we are putting double or triple bond means all the atoms in Lewis structure try to get that octet configuration octet means eight electrons to maintain the stability so sulfur whether it will get double or triple bond around the central atom so so first let us see that sulfur sulfur the valence electron six so that electron dot structure one two three four five six so two lone pair and two unpaired electrons are present but sulfur is in third period so after third period the elements they have that uh, availability of d orbital so they can expand for example in the mnemonic you can see except expanded deficient odd guys in the classroom expanded means sulfur phosphorus chlorine bromine iodine as a central atom expanded they can have more than eight so they do not follow that octet configuration so how many bonds sulfur can form six bonds are possible but here see one two three four bonds are over so we can draw two more bonds so when you draw the two bonds you should see that that oxygen attached to the hydrogen so this oxygen does not carry any double bond so we can draw the one more bond here and another bond here so now the sulfur one two three four five six six bonds around sulfur is over now come to the next one octet for highly electronegative atom here oxygen is highly electronegative atom so let us make that octet configuration this side also single bond this side also single bond so 2 plus 2 4 so 6 8 so octet configuration for this oxygen is completed now we can come here so 2 4 6 8 so for this oxygen also completed 2 4 6 8 for this oxygen also completed now we can come here 2 4 6 8 so octet configuration is completed for all the oxygen atoms next one duplet for hydrogen duplet means two so here see only one single bond so two electrons only so duplet configuration completed for hydrogen for this hydrogen also duplet is completed so we can have that expanded sulfur so sulfur if you see 2 4 6 8 10 12 so 12 electrons are there but uh, since sulfur is in third period it can get more than 8 it does not follow that octet configuration so we can check that with that 
our valence electrons. That is, valence electrons are present or not? Let us see. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 26, 28, 30, 32. So, total 32 valence electrons are present. So, the Lewis structure of H2SO4 is absolutely correct. So, let us see that uh, our mnemonic once again. A skeletal in the biology lab center count single, double, triple, octet, duplet, except expanded deficient organs in the classroom. Thanks for watching.